The remesh to grid sop allows you to take a model, turn it into a volume, and then back into polygons. There's many reasons why you might want to do that. One reason is to combine a bunch of pieces together to make one model. Another reason is to retopologize something. Or in this case, we have a castle, and we want to turn this into a volume. Maybe for some kind of destruction simulation, or whatever reason that you might have to turn this into a volume. Well, the issue right now is that we have a bunch of open faces. And if you know anything about volumes, open faces are not good because it doesn't allow you to create a volume out of that model. So with the remesh to grid, by default, we see that we can't actually get a nice model out of this. However, there is a really awesome feature in here that will allow us to do so. If we go to the surface type, we can say thin plates. That takes an SDF volume, in other words, a volume that measures away from the surface, and it draws the polygons away from the surface. So in this case, it allows us to get away with a thickening of a 2D mesh. And as a result, now we have the model. Now all we need to do from here, if we want to turn that into a fog volume, is set a VDB from polygons, and there you go. Now we have a fog volume, there's no holes in that mesh. So we've now taken a 2D mesh and turned it into a fog. There are plenty of uses for this remesh to grid sop, and this is just one of them. For more quick tips, and if you want an overview of all of these different parameters, check out the Node Bible at cgforge.com. Thanks for watching.